on the justice court, the plaintiff, Adiromu Elizabeth, is suing Amani for the sum of 30,000 naira, being actor's fee for the role she played in a movie production. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presided. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Adiru Elizabeth and Amani Hanson. That is one and all. Thank you, Akin. You're welcome. I did room with this bed. I did. Yes, ma'am. You are the plaintiff. Yeah. Can you narrate to me why you are here? Yeah, I'm here because I brought in my case between myself and Amani. I shot with him last year. I think last year, July, August, on a movie project. I was the lead role. So we had an agreement. He's going to pay me on the 28th of September, 2020. He refused to pay me. And before going on set, he promised two mil a day. Okay. So, you know, you are physically present in court. Yes. And he is online. Yeah. You need to speak louder. Okay. So can, he can hear you clearly. All right. So go ahead. Yeah, so he promised me two mil a Who day. Who is he? Amani promised me two mil a day. He never feel that. During his set, I had other crises often on his set. He didn't give me food. At some point, he gave me food twice. He gave me food twice. Mm -hmm. And Did that, you agree that he was going to be giving you food on a daily basis? Yes, twice a day. That was what we agreed on. And during his set, I had to sleep on the floor at the reception because he promised a nice hotel apartment. He didn't fulfill that too. So at some point, I had to sleep on the floor for like two, three days on his set. Then the day he was supposed to sign um, the uh, consent form, he told me, 30,000 era. I played the lead role. But he, he signed 60, 70, 50,000 era for people that had just one role on the set. So I called him that day. I said, Amani, why did you sign 60, 70, 50,000 era for people that has only one scene? That was when I called him. I told him I won't collect that 30,000 era, that he needs to increase the money. Then he said he was going to get another consent form for me to sign. Then he would write 50 on it. But he never did that. He dribbled me till we finished the set. Can I hear from you, Amani? <clears throat> Let me have your response. During the shoot, I, yeah, I made an agreement with them that I was going to pay them such, such amount. Because this, this was my first project in question. And um, I felt they deserve a payment, which I <laughs> got myself into giving them the fee, like I'll pay the some amount for acting social movies. Um, since my, pro my first project, I don't have much idea on it, on how it goes. So it was after the shooting, which I eventually asked other producers, especially the, the DOP that took that took the project. He called me prior and told me that they don't do this this way. Movies like this, which involves only upcoming actors or actress, you don't pay them. Except if you're going to pay them, it's not going to be much. Why? Because there have to be two or three a uh, Nollywood staff that will, be able, that will enable me to sell the market, the movie in question. I won't be able to sell that movie out if there's no any no face to that movie. So me giving them such amount, how do I intend to pay them? Because he has not seen such, he has been, he has been to the industry for, mm -hmm. for years now and such has never happened. But that's not the main reason I've not even paid them the money. The reason why I've not paid them money is because of 
have not been able to sew the movie out. The movie is still packed in my house. Eh? I printed out 400 copies, hoping to sell out the movies. The 400 copies is still at home here. I do walk around the streets from Ikoto to Egbeda, from Egbeda to uh, um, Nyanoba side with my bare foot, not with bike or with bus, with my bare foot, trying to make sure that I raise the phone to sell it. I'm the only one walking around selling this stuff here. I've tried my best. I have a pregnant wife before I started moving all these things. I could not, I have to forsake my wife with her condition just to fulfill these people's promise, the promise I made to them. But unfortunately, it's not working out the way I planned it. I've tried every means I could. It's not working out. Most of these sickness I'm really, I'm really having right now is the, is the influence of the movement I've been working out, trying to make sure that I see the way I could pay them off. I'm going to Bukola. She called me. I chatted on WhatsApp. She chatted me also, I, I, I guess. So she said, I told her I can't sell this movie. I'm trying to see if I could, I could get a marketer that could market these movies for, for us. She said, okay, I should give her 200 copies of it. That she'll market it herself. I said, no problem. She decided to come down to a better the, that same day. That same day, I tried getting to her. I said that she is no longer in a better. She has traveled. Then the next day, I asked her to come and pick up the stuff. She says no longer interested. That she go and market it and bring her money. I said, I can't market this thing. If, I, if it is possible, I would have marketed it all and given your money. Because even my money is, is being tied up there too. Mommy, I don't know if there's anything I could actually do, do to at least to start. I, I don't know. The stuff, my own, so my own money is also tied down. If it, if it was easy as she thinks, I would have given her the money. And she knows deeply, she knows deep way that what she's asking for is not what she shouldn't be asking of it. Just that I just feel she just wants to do that of wickedness. But what, no problem. Are you all right? I'll walk you out of this courtroom and dismiss your case. You have to watch your language in the courtroom. What did you agree on? How much did you agree on? I agreed on paying at 30,000 naira. Pa. That's the total sum you're supposed to give her. Yes, ma'am. 30,000. Is that what you agreed on? That was what he signed. And that same day I called him. Wait, is that what you agreed on? Yes. Elizabeth played the lead role in a movie produced by Amani. Her actor's fee has not been paid and all promises of comfort made to her during the production were not fulfilled. She is in court to seek redress. The defendant, Amani, claims he has not been able to sell the movie and he is not buoyant to pay the fees. Judge Fumi waits into this matter. Let me, that's, let me explain something to you. Okay. Why I ask that question is because... There is a contract between the two of you. And the contract you signed is for 30,000 naira. Yes. You were both deliberating on a review, upward review to 50,000 naira, which did not come to limelight. So what is binding between you right now is a 30,000 naira. Okay. All right then. Go ahead, Amani. So I, <clears throat> the truth, Father, is I don't really know how to. I, I I don't have any way to pay her back right now. 
based on the contract, the agreement we had. I'm trying my best to see this where I could pay her off. The reason why I'm not really able to like send her the moon, uh, the paying her little by little because of she's not the only one at hand. If I pay her the way she ginger in me, the rest of them, because she's the one that brought most of them to the to the to the to the team. She's the one that did what the rest of them will come out. Ma? You said she's the one that brought what? Most of them. Okay. So most of them are like friends to her. So if she, if I end up paying her without paying others, others will also be on my neck too. So I prefer if I'm able to like try and see this way I could work out another project, get the funds out of it, then settle everyone at the same time. Instead of paying one person and leaving the rest, then tomorrow it will be a, become, become another fight, another quarrel again between others and me. I'll come back to that. There are other issues she raised in her claim. Did you agree to feed her twice a day while on site? I agreed to feed her twice a day, yes, ma'am. Did you promise her comfortable accommodation? And is it true that she actually eventually slept at the hotel reception floor for three days? <laughs> she, I promised her to give her accommodation. Yes, I did. But sleeping at the reception for three days, uh, no, no, that's a big lie. She slept in the room. It was just on the last day that she slept at the receptionist. You have that's something not to true. say. So what's that the is not true. What's the position? I slept there. I slept at the reception with my other friends because I, he asked me to refer my other co-actors to him before coming on set. I introduced them to him. And when we got on set, there was no place for them to sleep for like three days as in the process of the shoots. And we uh, decided because there was no room and I could not sleep in the hotel, um, the room on the floor in the, at the hotel. So my friend said we should sleep at the reception and I called, he was there. He was there when we slept at the reception. I, my, I think my other friends still has the videos on their phone because I asked them to save it on their email, in their email, whatever, I told them to save it. So I think they should still have the videos. So why didn't you bring that to court? That's what you need to bring to prove that you actually, right now there's nothing to, before the court to prove that. I'm a, and you have it on you. What's second that? thing is, uh, before the, when we were doing the project, he was not married. He was just planning to do his introduction. He, he has not even picked a date. His wife was not pregnant. You know her? I don't know her. But he said it. He told, he told I and one other guy on set. That's? That he's planning to do introduction. That he wants to and also... You know, and he said my, that the bride is not pregnant too. Yes. What so led to that? He was talking with um, one of his um, crew members, um, Shine. Because Shine was the one who introduced me to him. So I was there when mm. they were talking. He said he, the money he gets from this project also is going to add it up to what he wants to use for his introduction. So he wasn't married. Okay. Mm. Um, are you aware that she had also attack three times while um, on set? Yes, ma'am. I am aware. <laughs> uh, is it true that she fed herself throughout? <laughs> I'm not the only one involved in this. I have other teammates, which is I, uh, one other guy called Samson, and the lady called Shine. If I was not bringing it, the other lady is bringing it. So it was not, she was only pointing at me mostly. Well, but I'm not the only person that is involved there. Sometimes I might not provide, and the other lady will provide. So I don't know. I don't know what to say more. So Amani, no. the contract you had be between the two of you, it takes two. You had a proposal. You gave her an offer. She accepted the offer. And there's performance by her. What is left now is for you to pay her. What is left? Because you are owing that 30,000 naira. You are not denying the fact that you are owing her the money. 
what you are what you've just told the court is the fact that you don't have the money now. Is that is that right? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Say yes, ma'am. Okay. <coughs> so you are winning now. You need to pay her. The others are not before the court. They are not here. I don't want to go there. I'm not concerned about their matter. I'm only concerned about our own case. And you need to pay her 30,000 naira. If you can't pay the 30,000 naira up front once, then you have to break down mm. the manner in which you want to pay and agree with her on that. I have a, I have a new bomb baby here. Mm -hmm. I'm not baby. I don't have a job. I'm just, my just gave birth last two weeks. I'm still struggling to make ends meet. And I won't want to make a promise that I won't be able to keep. But I promise that at the end of the day, it will open my neck. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I, I will definitely, if it is something I will have to send to her every month, I will try my best to be sent every month. But I cannot. Make, point and a specific amount. So at the end of the day, it will not be like something that you made this promise, made this vow, and it's not keeping to it. Unfortunately, the law does not work that way. Okay, ma'am. Ideally, I should be giving judgment for you to pay the 30,000 Naira up front. But I gave you the privilege of working out the way and manner, you can make the payment by installments. Okay. Okay. Can I make it 5,000 every month then? That's to her. No. She said no. How much mm, that are you asking for? You should pay me twice or thrice. That's the only way it can work. And not every you have, month. You have to be realistic too. Do you understand me? Yes, ma. Okay. Because what is said, you have to consider that. The minute you get paid, others come in for their money as well. Even though they are not in court. I'm just being realistic. I'm not forcing you. I'm not saying you must agree with whatever I say. Mm -hmm. But you have to think it over. I think 10,000 naira sounds reasonable. If you can make three installments, maybe from August ending... September ending and October ending, and you round it up. You don't want that. If you can start from the end of this month. Uh, mommy, I no, I won't be. I won't lie to you, ma. I will start from this month. This month is almost end. I don't have a pain in my account. Um, I understand the fact that. After production, you could not make any sale. And you yourself, you've identified where the lapses are. And secondly, you didn't deny any of her claim. You were really truthful to that. What this court will do, this month, will assist you to pay 10,000 naira. So next month, you can pay from August, because I realize August is the time you actually want to start paying because of the baby you just had. I saw the baby right now. So we help you pay 10,000 naira this month. Then August, you pay 10,000 naira. And September, you pay the balance. Can you hear me? Hello? All right. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. It's judgment for the plaintiff. The defendant is to pay the plaintiff 30,000 naira. However, this court will advance 10,000 naira on behalf of the defendant to the plaintiff for the month of July 2021. And the defendant will pay 10,000 naira in August and another 10,000 naira in September 2021. Judgment for the plaintiff.
Alright. Continuing, the plaintiff, Florence Edejo, owes Ellen the sum of 250,000 naira on paid loan. And now, she has brought her case to court. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Florence Edejo versus Ellen Famous. Parties 102. Florence Adejo. Yes, ma'am. We brought the defendant to court. You mean I owe him for Helen and Edo. Helen and Amos. Helen Famous. Yes, at 250000 You are owing her? Yes. You took a loan from her. Ma? You feel speak PG well, well. Yes. Okay. Narrate to me what happened. I owe and so that my choose my picking. They arrest my, my child. So I called to him to during the time of uh, this uh, COVID nineteen. Now now I go meet him. So I can't collect the money for him. As I collect that money, still be my husband late, everything is not do all right. I don't ever see refund the money to him. So what do you want to do now? So please, I'm, I'm begging. What? What do you want? Mm -hmm. You are the one owing her money. Yes. She did not carry you to court. You are the one carrying her to court. Is that okay? She's the one that's supposed to carry you to court and ask the court to make you to pay her the money you are owing her. Is that not so? Yes. So why are you carrying her about? Why are you taking her all over the place? Mm -hmm. So what did she tell you that made you to follow her down here? Anytime I come to her, I say, I need my money. He will ask me story. He doesn't have money. The next thing I see, say, after all, he will sue me to court. So he will sue you to court? Yeah, so the Nigerian people will help us to see to the issue. I said, you know my own situation, you know my problem. I lost my husband. That when, when they give me to take care of the little children, I take out the money, I borrow the money, uh, madam. So give me the money back. You just started giving me different stories. I don't, like this money, I don't even remember. I don't even put on brand. I'm just hurry or put on my clothes. Six money, the food they give to me, that place, that breakfast. I don't drink only the tea. The bread inside my bag now. I eat only the bread, only the tea. Look at the bread here now. Why are you doing this to her? I'm not eating the bread. Why are you punishing her? The bread her? is not settled. Look at the bread there. Yeah. I eat only, only, I eat only the tea. Why are you doing this to her? I don't understand. Is somebody you are supposed to pay? There's no money. The money you are anything. owing? Or you should start begging her that you don't have the money now, you pay her later. You are bringing her to court. Very soon, I think what we, we might have to do, if you have to be paying damages, if you bring somebody that is not supposed to be brought to court, if you bring that person to the court, you will pay that person for disturbing that person for that day before you leave the courtroom. Why are you disturbing her? You are the one owing her. She's not even disturbing you. You didn't allow her to go to work. You are bringing her to the court. To do what? To do what? So how much do you have to pay her now? Never see anything now. You are lucky. If she's the one that has brought you to court, I would have treated that matter. 
I'm, I'm going to throw out your case. Do you understand me? And don't waste the time of the court. Next time when you do that, you will pay fine. The plaintiff is ignorant of the court's process. After the break, Judge Fumi strikes out this case. I hereby dismiss this case. All right. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.